Susie Bubble was a childhood nickname. I was always sort of daydreaming and like in my own kind of headspace. People were like Bubbles, Bubbles, Susie Bubbles, and it kind of like evolved. And then from that, uh, Style Bubble was derived from it. I blog probably two to three times a day. The blog is like my baby. You have to keep feeding it, otherwise it will die. Since I turned full-time as a blogger, I've travelled like 75% of me to all the different fashion weeks, New York, London, Milan and Paris. It's a lot of packing, it's a lot of outfit coordination, there are a lot of photographers and you kind of do have to be conscious about what you're wearing. <laughs> at the moment it's Wool Week at Harvey Nichols in London. They did an installation by this artist who's a yarn bomber and she sort of covers everything with knitted stuff. Harvey Nichols also did the most amazing box of cookies dedicated to Wool Week. They're just so cute! I always like it when fashion and food marries up. My style is quite eclectic. Tinsel headband by John Russia. It kind of merges with my hair as well. I'm sure I'll get some stairs on the street. I'm used to that though. Pleats Please by Issey Miyake. You can fold them up and like pack them really easily and it won't wrinkle. This clutch is great because it expands out a little bit and you can get a DSLR into it and carry it like that. Martin van der Horst. It's a nylon tool like, you know, from petticoats. It was inspired by John Waters' film, which is always good. It kind of made me look like the Oompa Loompas, you know, from, from the new Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Culottes, really culottes. I'm a little bit allergic to like some metals, so I tend to sort of wear things like this rope piece by Brooke and Lynn. I've got a really big piece, which is more like a body chain, so you have to like loop it around and like do all kinds of bondage. Louise Golden knitted. The knitwear technique is quite difficult to achieve. This just says love. <laughs> this is like a cardigan. Put the sleeves inside out and then tie it around your waist. This is that. I've got a lot of neon clothing with me at the moment, so you can either wrap it around as a bracelet or wear it as a necklace. This is a jacket I picked up in Tokyo. It's like a sort of x-ray version of a biker jacket. This will definitely get a few stares and a few giggles from children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of shoes. I'm quite conservative, like a pair a day is, is pretty uh, normal. I've got sort of a mix of flats and heels. These are Luella. I am anything from a 37 to a 41. I'll jam my foot into it if I really like it. Manolo Blahnix, it's quite like a nice angle. Nicholas Kirkwood ones. It's practical but interesting. It's like a combination of a platform and a kitten heel. I've gotten a lot of wear out of these ones. My Simone Russia shoes. It's just a sort of amazing feat of shoe structure. 